Hello guys, this is Ali Silanki and today's video is on a very crucial topic which if realized later can cost you a significant amount of regret. It is about the top 5 mistakes you need to avoid while learning a programming language. But before I begin, I would like you guys to comment your favorite programming language down in the comment section below and we'll see which one gets the most amount of support. So let's not make a mistake by wasting any more of our time and get straight to the first one. This particular mistake is so common that that it has been given a term in itself and it's called tutorial hell. Tutorial hell is when you continuously keep on watching tutorials one after the other and you feel like you're learning a lot of things but in fact you're just binging over the content and watching tutorials is not the same as watching a Netflix show. As soon as you start building something on your own, you quickly realize that you don't know a lot of things. There's a quote by Albert Einstein which says, insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. I remember binging an entire 10 hour tutorial of web development only to realize in the end that I haven't actually learned a lot. I had to then restart it and fell like I had never learned any of it before. This is exactly what tutorial hell makes you do. The simplest way to escape tutorial hell is to start small, learn the basics and practice as you keep learning. Second mistake that 90% of beginners make is juggling between multiple programming languages at once. It is necessary to have a goal in mind related to a programming language than to just learn it for fascination. Following too many courses and resources for the same language is just another version of this mistake. Once you choose a language to learn, stick to it and learn it properly first. And then it won't take you much time to understand other languages as well as you'd have developed the logic required to learn them. Suppose you learn C++ or JavaScript in two months time. It would take you much less to learn a different language like Python which otherwise would take you around two to three weeks. Also. Choose the language that fits what you want to do in the future. I've already talked about the top programming languages and what they are mainly used for in this particular video. So do check it out. But in short, if you want to get into machine learning, AI, data science, then going ahead with Python would be the best choice. Whereas if you want to get into say web development, especially front end part, then go with something like JavaScript. Third mistake is not having a proper roadmap for the language you're learning. When you're a beginner and know nothing about a programming language, one thing you tend to do is randomly start learning things that keep coming your way. Having a proper structure will make sure that you do not miss out on any of the concepts which will have direct application when you start building new things. When I had started my journey, most of my time was spent on checking which framework or language is the best one to learn instead of actually learning them in the first place. But but then when I started learning with a proper roadmap, I realized it was quite easier for me to grasp all the concepts without being confused as to what to do next. The fourth mistake is taking a break in between. It's obvious that learning a programming language can get frustrating and even boring at times. But it's not necessary to break the flow. Programming is not a skill, it's a habit. The thing with breaking the flow is that you would have to begin all over again right from learning the first step of learning the syntax itself. It's just like after your breakup you're starting all over again and asking a girl about her favorite color. Whenever I got bored learning new things around a programming language, I used to build exciting projects making use of the concepts that I've already learned. This way, I would always be engaged in building things that I like and not take breaks in between. The fifth mistake is apparently a technical one. It's not writing proper codes or as programmers call it, clean code. Aesthetics is involved everywhere and coding is anyway an art. When you first start out writing code, the prime objective is to somehow make it work and get the desired output. But apart from writing code that works correctly, you also need to make sure that it is understood by others as well. This includes everything from formatting your code correctly to using meaningful variable names and also commenting here and there to make sure that when you revisit the code, it still makes sense. Write code considering that you have to present it in front of an entire audience. Also, you might have to work on a collaborative project in the future which could involve going through and debugging others code 
imagine how hard it would be to try and understand the other person's logic while dealing with a messy code any fool can write code that a computer can understand good programmers write code that humans can understand it is also necessary to write reusable code there is a golden rule when it comes to programming if you have to repeat your code multiple times there most definitely exists a better way to write it now a bonus point that i'd like to share with you is learn from building things rather than watching tutorials tutorials can help you learn a language but cannot help you solve problems that you will face in the future while implementing the concepts that is why make sure that whenever you learn something you are also practicing it by building something new and exciting so if you're still watching this video then make sure you've pressed the like button make sure to comment your favorite programming language and which language you are going to learn and that's it for this video i hope you guys liked it